the first spark of it came from Karen Rinaldi, whose n novel, which was then unpublished, uh, The End of Men, she felt one strand of that novel might make a good screenplay. She knew I was looking for a lighter novel or story to base a screenplay on and set in New York. And she sent me the chapters that were the Maggie, Georgette, John chapters. And I fell in love with the idea, which was the fundamental hook of the film, and the three main characters. And um, Damon Cardace is my producing partner, read it, and then we brought it to Rachel Horowitz, who was an old friend of mine and uh, I hadn't worked with yet as a producer, but she really liked it and she was very encouraging. And I ended up starting to try and write. And then... Um, you know, a lot of meetings ensued with Karen Rinaldi, with Rachel, with uh, talking about my versions of the script and, and uh, uh, sort of getting down to getting the plot sorted out because, of course, I needed to build the plot out and I ended up bringing in uh, other characters, um, Tony and Felicia and, and uh, the Pickle Man and so on. I think the whole process might have been two and a half years, uh, or maybe three years if you include making the film, yeah. Absolutely. Julianne Moore is an old friend of mine, and I really wanted to see her be funny again. Um, Greta Gerwig has the perfect combination of uh, wisdom, intellect, guilelessness, and goofiness. Um, uh, Ethan Hawke really d understands the absurdities of being a writer because he is a writer, so he was able to play that so well and the self-absorption and he, uh, you know, as, and he, uh, so casting was really kind of a joy. And then we had, you know, Bill Hader and Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph is also a friend of mine. Bill Hader was on board right away because he knew my work earlier. And so it was kind of a lot, that was a wonderful time casting the film. Oh, the chemistry of them that th th they had between them was really terrific. Uh, Greta and Ethan um, were so playful together, and they just fired off of each other in a wonderful way. And you really believed Ethan and Julianne as a married couple. And there was something, I think they've been old friends, and so there's a real chemistry between them as well. So it was fun. It was like a lot of love stories in a way. It was it was also the love story of, of Maggie and her own daughter, you know, the, the love of, of, a, of a mother. You know, so there was that as well, and my own love of New York City. So it was kind of like... Uh, um, I always think of it as sort of five love stories. Well, part of it was working in New York where I had come back to living and I love it so much there. Um, part of it was uh, the novelty of making a film that was more dominantly com comedic than dramatic, which was something new. There's always been comical sort of parts to my screenplays and my movies, but this is dominant uh, comedy. And... Um, uh, and also, I just loved my crew so much. I loved working with these people. I uh, I absolutely loved, you know, Sam Levy, the DP, and um, he was wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's really wonderful to tour the festivals with a film that was built for pleasure, the way this film was, because I think festival audiences... Uh, they love to think, but they also love to laugh and have a good time. And I think that, in a way, this is a somewhat rare film in in festivals. Um, so it's been such it's so rewarding to just hear the responses of audiences and feel the pleasure that they're feeling watching the film.